In this video, we will introduce a little bit history of Montserrat, the requirements for getting Montserratian British Overseas Territory Citizenship Passport, and the benefits of doing so. Let's get started. Montserrat is a Caribbean island and British Overseas Territory, southwest of Antigua, with a population of about 5,000. It should not be confused with the place with the same name in Spain. The island suffered from a series of volcano eruptions in 1995. The eruptions destroyed the country's southern area, including its former capital city of Plymouth. Between 1995 and 2000, two-thirds of the island's population was forced to flee, primarily to the United Kingdom, leaving fewer than 1,200 people on the island by the end of 1997. Today, a new town and port are being developed on the northwest coast of the island. While this construction proceeds, the center of government and businesses is in the new capital Braids. Montserrat currently offers an economic residency program for bank deposits, real estate and government bond investment, with a path to British Overseas Territory citizenship. Whichever path you go with, the minimum investment requires 400,000 East Caribbean dollars, approximately 150,000 US dollars, in the form of a term deposit, real estate, or government securities in Montserrat. There are no other wealth requirements except proof that you have the adequate funds to qualify under the program and that you have the means to cover the financial needs for you and your family. The program allows for permanent residency after living in Montserrat for at least five years. You are then eligible for a British Overseas Territory Citizen Passport. But the pathway to a UK passport can be a difficult one. In a nutshell, it requires a minimum of US dollars in investment and a five-year residency to qualify for the citizenship. BOTC passport holders enjoy visa-free entry to many countries and territories including Canada and Europe. However, in some cases, foreign authorities only grant them a visa-free entry if they present a passport with an endorsement stating their right of abode in the United Kingdom. British Overseas Territory citizens have visa-free entry to the UK up to six months. But a visa is required for any purpose beyond six months if they do not possess the right of a boat in the UK. As for the right to consular protection, when in a country where there is no British embassy, British Overseas Territory citizens have the right to get consular protection from the embassy of any other Commonwealth country present in that country. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you are interested in this video. Cheers.